It's Friday afternoon. Um, we got done with our last job, and I'm trying to fix my clutch issue. So we're going to dive into this, hoping we can get it done before <clears throat> Monday. So, because um, I'm not a very good mechanic. So we took off our mud flap. My plan is there's this whole structure that holds on all the after treatment stuff. And I think a bunch of that has to come out. I'm just going to keep tearing into it to see what I can get out. I'm hoping this side is the best side to get to um, because there's less, there's less hoses and i mean there's still some but there's less hoses and wires and all that so i'm hoping that gives us a little bit of space um so i'll just dig into it and we'll see what happens can't believe how easy this came out so those are all our parts um we took off the oh gotta get in here there's a cross member from here all the way down to the bottom we took that off there's a piece of exhaust here that goes up to here that's gone we took off the cross member here and we also took off the thing that holds the mud flap and the mud flap itself. Hold on, Clark, hold on. So anyway, it's going pretty good. I can finally fit my torso in right here. And you can see the clutch is that thing right there. So it's actually not going too bad. Um, we might have this back together tonight. So we're making some progress still. Um, I finally dove in and disconnected the clutch cable some, from this side all the way. The problem is, so I mean, if you look from back here, here's the edge of the truck. You gotta dive in all the way to the frame. And then from the frame, you have to go to the other side and you have to go, I'm gonna try to explain it okay, but you have to go all the way to this. And then underneath that way a little bit, is the thing that holds it in place so you have a bracket that holds your cable so it can move in and out without moving the whole thing and that's what i have to get to so i finally saw it i had to crawl all the way in to get to it but i think i can manage it so i'm gonna get the right wrench size and see if i can mess a little bit loosen it up so to put it into perspective a little bit this is the cable we're working with i mean it's like it's you know, a good couple of feet taller than me. So that part that I was gonna show you under there was this. This is um, what holds it in place. That's what I gotta get undone. So the nice thing is I can take my wrench size off of this so I don't have to reach under there. How'd it go? Easy money? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh. Do you need my help or anything or? Uh, it depends. How bad do you want to stick around? Not bad. That's okay. I mean, it's all good. I'm just tinkering. But the way things are going, I might have it out by tomorrow. Done. Yeah. I mean, if you look at all this crap that's gone, you know. Yeah. It took a lot. I'm so excited to get this thing deleted. Oh, listen to this. Still stand with it. Oh, okay little taste of what it's going to sound like. <laughs> right. So I was about to take the grinder to it, but as I got in there and started cutting, I realized this can be removed. So I'm going to try that. That seems better. Sixteens on both of them, that's easy. Got him. Okay, back into the belly of the beast. So this is what I did in there. I just had to loosen up this set nut and then take off this back piece. Oh, I don't know if that one fell off. getting dark and really cold so 
in a hurry. Okay. Okay, so it's the next day, but I'm still working on this stinking clutch. Um, I didn't film this part, but I dove in and finally got it undone. It was really sucky, but that part's done. Now, to get anything else done, I have to raise the cab. We'll get that up, I'll get working on the other side. cab up um, we can track down our cable which goes right here oh this is gonna be easy now it actually shouldn't be too hard um, we can pull that out and run our new one the tricky thing though is going to be getting it don't want to let that door slam is getting it through the bottom of the cab out here and then because this is it right here running it the way we want so We'll get rolling. Have it all put together it's all the the part in the cab is connected the part back here is all good um the only problem is now it just needs adjusted so it looks like uh when i press on the clutch it's not um disengaging it so enough so uh it'd be like if you were half pressing it so i'm gonna crawl back underneath right here and work on some stuff right there. Got uh, the back side adjusted probably as well, actually as much as it can. I tapped it out on that. So I've got to do some adjusting here in the cab. Um, it's tricky because you're not gonna be able to see it, but up, no, nah, you can't, I don't think. So if you see that moving, because it got so rough, um, we were in a bad spot. And so I slammed on the clutch and it bent the the back part of the clutch pedal assembly so i'm going to try to bend it back because it bent it it bent it up a little bit and so that's why it's out of adjustment so bad so it's actually close i could get it in it just tries to it's not all the, the clutch isn't all the way disengaged so i'm going to see what i can do to bend that back i'm not sure how i'm going to do it yet but we'll see so that's my next step <music> adjustments made I'm gonna go test drive it but it's the exhaust is still off so it sounds gnarly so I'm gonna leave it like that until I get it driven and then I'll come back and put all that back together The clutch brake works perfect. Oh, that is so nice! It's like a brand new truck. Oh, <laughs> that is perfect. I'm excited about the clutch, but that exhaust sounds so sick. Touch more adjustment then. Because 
that clutch brake isn't isn't engaging. Not too bad though. Oh, it's right there. Uh, that's way nice, huh? Oh yeah. It's late. It's like it's like eight o'clock or something. Um, I finally finished, so we're gonna go park this, get it out of the way. But as you can see, it's all put back together how it should be. Um, everything's back on, and I'll tell you what, I am relieved because it's been quite a few hours into this. So, anyway, we'll get my tools cleaned up and we're done. Thanks for watching.